Hi S3, Miss Blair here. I'm just going to take you through some information about your mini torch so that you can get on with your project from home. If we were in class, obviously we'd be giving you a torch out each so that you could analyse and investigate the design yourselves. But because we're working from home, we won't be able to do that. So this little video should hopefully give you a little bit more information about the product as if you were to have it in front of you. So it's a miniature LED torch. You can tell by the size of my hand how small this torch actually is. It's LED powered. You can see the bulbs on the front there. And it has a little hanging strap on the back here, which is made from nylon and attached with a little jump ring to a hole which has been drilled on the back end there. And then this little textured rubber button on the back is where you would then click to turn on your torch. And as you can see, it's actually quite a powerful wee torch for being so small. On the front, you have the brand name InfoPower, which has been engraved into this metal casing. So it is a metal casing. And it has a knurled texture on areas where you would probably want to be holding for some sort of extra grip or texture on the design as well. This torch actually comes in four different colours. So this is the red version. Also comes in black, blue and silver. I'll add some photos to the document so you can see those different colours as well. And it breaks down into three quite simple little parts. So what I'll do is I'll start to take this apart for you so that when it comes to doing your exploded sketch, you can see exactly what all the parts look like. So the bottom cap or the end cap attaches on just using a screw thread, which means it has an internal thread here on the inside of the bigger part of the casing and then an external thread here. And that just means those two parts twist together. OK. And that's the end that's got the hanging strap on it. It also has a little spring here, which helps to hold your battery pack in place to allow the bulbs to then be supplied with power. OK, so that's that end there. Then in the inside, you've got your battery pack itself, which holds three AAA batteries. And that's just a little plastic casing with obviously the locators for the battery pack on either end. And then your third part is actually just this outer case in itself. So the bulbs don't come out. They are attached to this front panel here for safety, I would imagine. And then I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on camera, but just on the inside there, you can see the back of the bulbs and how they are attached into the outer case in there. So this is just a hollow shell now without the battery pack inside. So quite a nice, simple little design. Not too many complicated parts for you. You're going to have to make an exploded sketch of this. So if you feel confident doing that in one or two point perspective, please do that. If you feel like you're not as confident with using perspective sketching techniques, feel free to use any other 3D sketching techniques. You can do that freehand. And again, if you don't feel confident doing this in 3D, you can still do it in 2D. You can draw these parts as 2D objects. And then what we, you could do is add some shading to make them look a little bit more 3D and realistic. It would be good to see the little details that I've pointed out, things like the brand name and the knurled texture. If you want to add colour, feel free to do that if you have colour there. And if you want to take it that little step further and boost that possible grade that you could get for your sketching techniques, you could also do the batteries exploded in the design as well. So I'm just going to take one of them out. And then you, what you could do is have all three batteries lying outside like this as well. You could even possibly explode the little hanging strap and the jump ring from the end as well if you wanted to just take it that one wee step further. OK, so you're going to need to draw what this torch looks like disassembled. So just like this with the parts separate from each other. That's what an exploded sketch is. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to label each of the different parts. So to do that, you would have this sketched out on paper and then what you could do is just draw little lines away from it and give a name for each of the different parts. So you could call this front casing or bulb casing or main body casing. You could call this battery pack and you could call this the end casing and the hanging strap. You might also want to point out the fact that the button is on this end and you might also want to point out what type of batteries are used and also what type of bulbs and maybe how many of them are used. And then you can start adding more information, things like what materials are used for each of the different parts and so on. There are plenty of resources for you to use for this activity. 
So make sure that you look at every piece of information that we provide for you in order to do an accurate and detailed representation of the torch. If you have any questions, you can ask your class teacher on Google Classroom.